Hey everybody, it's uh, Steve from Next Technologies, and in this video, we're going to be going over the Tuya Smart Life app. Um, this app is commonly used um, for access control for, let's say, a multi tenant building or home automation, building automation. And uh, you can pretty much do anything with this app. Your imagination will bring you endless possibilities, and I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. So let's go ahead, I'm going to open it up. Okay, so here's your main screen. I've only got two devices on it right now. Um, I got a solar camera and one that says Eastgate. Now, this Eastgate could be anything. This is physically a power outlet um, that I can turn on and off or automate on a schedule. However, it could be a relay that controls like a gate motor or a door strike to open a door or a mag lock. Um, it really could be anything. Um, so we're just going to kind of use our imagination and we're going to pretend that this is um, tied into a gate motor for visitor parking or tenant parking to a multi-tenant building. And uh, we want to use it for access control. So let's go ahead and click on here. And if I click on the socket, you can see it turns off. If I click it again, it turns on. Um, you can put it so it you can program it so it toggles. So when you press it, it just quickly turns off and on. And that would be kind of what we would do in our gate scenario. Um, or we can put it on a schedule at the bottom left. Click there. And let's say I want my gate to be open from on Monday from X time to X time. I'm going to put that in here, when to open and when to close automatically. Um, again, this could be an alarm system that you want to automatically arm or disarm. It could be anything you want it to be. Um, so this is where you're going to add the schedules. You can add any days, multiple days, and you can also add multiple schedules to have it automate any way you want. Okay, let's go back to the main screen. You have a timer here, a timer option. So if we click timer, it, this is where if I press it, it's going to stay on X amount of hours or X amount of minutes. Um, we're going to schedule that here. And this is how you also automate it on a timing schedule um, let's go back and because we're pretending this is a multi-tenant building and it's a uh, parking garage and it controls a gate um, we're gonna need to share this with people who live in the building so to share it we're gonna click on it again at the top right you're gonna see an edit icon we're gonna click that and then where it says share device, we can click that. And you can see I'm only sharing it with two people currently. Um, it's just named camera 93 and camera 94. However, you would put in their actual name or suite number um, if, if this was a multi-tenant building. So let's say, um, let's click on camera 93, okay? And then it says username. This is where you put in their actual name or their suite number. Account, that is their email that they use to sign up for the Tuya app. And that is how you share it. So if we go back here at the top right, beside ad sharing, you're gonna see a setting um, icon. We're gonna click that. Okay, here's our two people we're sharing it with. So. Let's click on camera 93. Now validity period, it says valid permanently. However, if I want to only gain them access till a certain date, this is where you would put that in. So this is good for, let's say, if you want to grant access to a service technician and he's going to be done in a couple days, then you put this in here. So it automatically locks him out after a couple of days when he's done his work. Now, when we go back in here, you can go unshare at the bottom. This will remove them. They no longer have access to the gate. So if we go unshare, confirm. Now we have only sharing with one person. But if I want to re-add them in, go back here, click them, and go confirm. And they're added back in. Now, if I want to add a brand new user, I go add here, select the region, And 
enter account. This is going to be their email that they use to create their Tuya Smart Life account. If you enter it in here and confirm it, then you are now sharing with a new user and there would be three people now in this list um, and you can add as many people as you want. Now, this app can be used to automate um, a house as well. So let's pretend that I have, I want all my lights in my basement suite to turn off with the click of a button so I don't have to go downstairs and turn them all off manually with switches. To do that, at the bottom we would click scene. You would go into here and you would create a scene. And what this would do is, let's say that power socket icon, let's say if I had 20 of those instead of one. Well, I could group them all together here in this scene. So now when I press the button, all 20 power outlets turn off or all 20 lights or they could be anything you want them to be. It's all in your imagination, but it can be done. Now, you can also automate to do different things like schedule power off. So I want all the lights in the suite to turn off at a certain time or turn on at a certain time. You do that here. Or let's say I have a motion detector, I could link it to that motion detector so that as soon as I walk in and the motion detector picks me up, all the lights turn on in the suite. You can do that here as well. So this scene kind of groups everything together for you, ungroups them, links them, tells them when this device does this, then make that device do that. Um, you can do that all right here. So as you can see, it's very flexible. You can, um, automate almost anything with this app. You can use it for home automation, building automation. You can use it for access control. And it's very good because you can share the systems with other Tuya users and remove them and manage it, which is great for things like strata buildings where managers need to constantly add new tenants in, remove tenants who have moved out. They don't even have to go to a computer anymore. They can do it all from within the Tuya app from their phone. So one other thing is because this is the device, the account where I added this device on. So I have all these admin settings like schedule, timer, all that. However, when you share a device, the users that are sharing this device are not going to have those options to tamper with the system. They're just going to be able to operate. So they're just going to be able to do this. Turn it on, turn it off or open the gate and and or open the door but they will not be able to do scenes remove devices add other users that is all done from the admin account so let's say you're the strata manager in charge of this you will have the admin account you will share with other people in the building but they will not be able to tamper with the system they'll just be able to operate it Okay, I think that's all we're going to go over in this video. So I hope you enjoyed that and it gives you a little bit of idea of um, the endless possibilities of this app. You can really do anything with it. Um, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. It's all up to you. You use your imagination and you can make it possible with this app. Uh, very powerful app. Very good. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you got a little bit of understanding of how this works.